I have a good idea. Yeah. I, I'm still working at the I had at the at the barbecue, and Mr. McMaster's. He drove up in a pack and uh, old uh, was a wasn't a packer. It was a big car, you know. He parked that car in the back of the barbecue. And I was standing there, you know, and he said something about driving, you know. And he says, you want to drive this car? And I says, oh, I'll try, you know. So the back road went right behind the barbecue. So he was with, with, me, with me at the time. So we, took, we went down the road, we went down and turned around and come back, you know. He went in, in, in the barbecue by himself and he left me in the car. While he was gone, I took the car again and, and took a ride down by myself. So I learned and I kept doing that night after night. night every time he parked the car, I took it out. He never said, boy, he was a good guy, I'll tell yeah. you. That, that's how I learned to drive. Then I drove, well, I didn't, I don't know whether I had a license at the time or not. But I take that car from there over to the house, it was, it was like a, a farm. And I drive it over to, to, to where the, they live. Then I'd come back again, and I did that many a times, you know. Then later on, the Harry, he told me, you have to get a license to drive, so I got a license finally, and was able to drive, and then I could drive all over. That's how I learned. I don't know what Harry done, Harry, whether he got an application for me or what, but they, whether I, I can't remember how it, how it happened, but I remember taking a test down in Pittsburgh, taking a test back, and of course I took the test the first time and passed, and the cop give, signed that for me license. So I had no trouble as far as getting a license. Harry's car, it was a Chevy. Uh, trying to think, well, about a 1932, 34 Chevy something.